everyone welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber you already know thank you i appreciate you for always coming back to watch my videos if you're new here thank you for stopping by my name is amaya chinsekwe and i'm in nigeria currently living and working in Kaunas, lithuania please do not forget to subscribe and check out my other content you might find a thing or two that will interest you I made a video um, um i have a video where i talked about what to expect when coming to lithuania it was basically a video trying to answer the questions that i get from people about living in lithuania and people who just want to come to lithuania i mentioned that i was going to make a special video for cost of living in lithuania so this is that video the first thing i'm going to talk about is accommodation so accommodation in Lithuania, I would say, is more affordable than you find in other European countries. As a student, you can get like student dormitory, student hostels from as low as 90 euros per month to like say 150, 200 euros per month. If you are, if you're looking for an apartment, maybe a shared apartment with people, you get apartments from like say um, 120, 150 euros to as high as you know 300 euros if you're looking for a studio apartment you probably get from like 250 from like 200 to 50 euros to like 500 depending on what you are looking for currently i live in a three-bedroom apartment with friends and we're paying 800 euros for the whole apartment which i can tell you that it's worth it so basically it comes down to like 270 euros per person so this is just an overview of what you could get so just say that if you're looking for an apartment you're looking at from um from let's say uh, realistically like 150 euros to like 500 euros depending on what you're looking for so i'd like to mention that i am talking about Kaunas, which is where i live now if you're looking for apartments in vilnius which is um the capital it's a little higher so you'll have to like up your budget a little bit because vilnius is generally more expensive than Kaunas, but not by a lot just a little more expensive so say if i were in vilnius these apartments that i'm currently living in will probably go for i don't know 900 1000 euros because i live in the city center so the next thing i'm going to talk about is utilities now everything i'm talking about i'm talking about it from the angle of one person so i'm talking um how much you're going to be paying for rent as an individual how much you're going to be paying for utilities as an individual and as an individual coming to live in lithuania i think that it's fair that you budget spending between like 50 to 100 euros per month if you live in an apartment that is not um that is not uh very hard to heat up because what will take the bulk of your money is gas gas heating basically is gas but in my apartment now i think that generally we pay um, the average that we pay per person for utilities is like from 60 euros to to like a hundred yeah there was this month i think it was december that our utility was off the roof i still don't know what happened but like it was really high but generally that's not usually the case so in winter we can pay as high as um say 100 euros per person but in summer like right now I'll probably pay like 50 euros per person or like 70 euros per person so that's what to expect then another thing i'm going to be talking about is transportation now transportation here i buy um i there's a monthly subscription of 30 euros if you're using the card but i use an app jogas app here in Kaunas. it works only in Kaunas, and i pay 28 euros every month so what happens is that every trip you take is 70 cents and then after you are done with 28 euros per month it's free so basically all you have to spend in a month is 28 euros unlimited wherever you want to go to in the city if you're a student you get student discount and i think as a student you're probably going to pay like six euros per month for six euros per month for transportation which i think is like really cheap now in vilnius i think it's around the same thing i don't think the difference is much when it comes to transportation between Kaunas and lithuania so that's it i think transportation is really affordable what do you think Another thing I'm going to be talking about, okay, so for me, because um, I use the gym here and I know that people will also be interested in um, gym membership, um, how much will it cost me, you know, to be enrolled in the gym if you're interested in fitness. You can spend like an average of 10 euros to 25, 30 euros per month on gym membership. The current gym that I use and the current um, plan that I'm on, it's a it's a contract, it's a one year contract plan. And I started off paying 15 euros per month and this no 15.99 so that's an average of 
has approximately 16 euros per month and this 16 euros per month covers unlimited um unlimited gym visits um covers um all the group trainings and group activities i get water in the gym i um i have like four weeks vacation because like i said it's a one-year contract but like i have a period of four weeks that i don't have to be in the gym and also i can invite friends like at four different times or four different friends to come to the gym which i think is a solid plan for 15 euros but i think after six months it goes up to 25 euros anyway what i'm trying to say is that the average is between 10 euros and 25 euros get, gets you a great gym plan in Lithuania, both in Vilnius and Kaunas. So another thing that is important or another thing that I feel like you would consider important is food. How much would you be spending averagely on food as an, indiv as an individual living in Lithuania? Well, I can say that if you make your meals, if you cook your meals and you do like monthly grocery shopping, you should spend between say 70 to 100 euros per month depending on you know how much you cook how much you eat of course it could be more but i'm just saying averagely you are going to spend that around that amount for your monthly grocery shopping because i think things are pretty affordable but i'm even talking because i had an italian housemate who used to cook every day like she used to make breakfast lunch and dinner and i don't think that she ever spent more than 100 euros per month so i think 100 euros is basically the highest you're probably going to say except like i said expect you're like a huge foodie and i don't know <laughs> so maybe but really i think 80 to 100 euros is enough me um i we buy groceries together myself and my housemates and then we have like a budget of 100 euros per person every month but most cases most times we actually do not spend up to that so if you're eating out if you're going to like a basic non-luxury restaurant in lithuania you probably spend between 3.5 euros to say seven euros for a decent meal so if you want fancy meals you're probably going to spend from like eight euros to say 20 euros for a meal for a decent meal in a fancy restaurant so generally on the average you can spend something between 3.5 um, you can spend something between 3.5 euros to 20 euros for a meal but on the average i have hardly i've hardly ever had to spend more than 12 euros for a meal and 12 euros was like rare occasion i think the average amount that i spend on meals outside is between 6 to 10 euros as average amount that i spend if you're talking about drinks i mean in most places that you would go to tap water is free you don't have to pay for it if you want to buy like water that is in tap water say sparkling water or still water you'd pay from like one euro it could be 90 cents from like one euro to say three euros three euros is the highest i've spent on water and i think it was at the club if you're going for beer you can spend between 2.5 euros to five euros for beer and then if you're going for wine or cocktails you can spend between four euros to ten euros for wine or cocktail that's like a huge margin but i am just trying to give space <laughs> i'm just trying to give like a huge margin because it depends on it depends on the caliber of the restaurant or the the bar that you're going to eat or um or drink that would determine how much you're served but on the average if you want like drinks um cocktails i think on the average you get it for like seven eight euros and if you want like soft drinks like um coke um pepsi and all of that you should get it between say 1.5 euros to four euros so then there is internet i'll say that internet is pretty affordable in lithuania because is affordable if you're using your mobile phone in most cases um, if, to get unlimited internet on your mobile phone you're probably going to pay between 10 euros to 15 euros i don't think you you would you'll hardly ever have to pay more than 15 euros and that's even me being very generous but the average you're going to spend is probably like 12 13 euros for unlimited internet on your phone and if you want internet in your house you can also pay from like 10 euros to 25 euros for unlimited internet to your apartment Currently, the plan that we use in my apartment is 22 euros or 20, 23 euros for the unlimited plan in my apartment right now. And I think that we can connect up to like 10, 15 devices. I'm not sure right now. But yeah, but I never have to worry about internet in my house because it's more than enough. And the, the speed is quite fast. So like generally on the average, both for your mobile phone and for your apartment, you're going to spend between 10 to 25 euros to get unlimited internet in your um to get to get unlimited internet monthly okay so let's say 
so now let's say you are you're, you want to visit Lithuania as a tourist or as a guest or as a visitor and you're wondering how much you're going to spend in um, on accommodation well on the average I think I'd say that Airbnb apartments and hotels if you're going to get like a decent three-star hotel or three-star apartments you can you can get you can get for as low as 25 euros i think you could even get for a little less than 25 euros say 20 euros but i'll say for something decent you're looking at from 25 euros to as high as i don't know 60 70 euros that's what you're going to look for but i can tell you that 30 euros or 30 but i can tell you that 30 to 50 euros would get you something good and something decent that you'd enjoy i think that's 30 euros will get you a decent apartment if you're not looking for something very extravagant or you're looking for just something decent maybe a studio apartment or like a room for one or two people then you're good with 30 to 50 euros in fact you can get like a two room um, you can get a two room airbnb apartment for like 50 60 euros my friend when he came from the netherlands he got an apartment in vilnos which was like a room and palo apartment and i think he paid 60 euros and he could also attest the fact that it was good and it was cheap and he mentioned that you'd probably not get that like if you're going to get that in a place like netherlands you're probably going to pay double of what you paid here so yeah apartments and hotels and accommodation generally is cheap in lithuania if you are asking so it's probably time for you to book that trip book that hotel book the flight okay not yet let's everything settle down first and then you can book your flight to lithuania so now talking about clothes and like outfits and what you're going to get on the average if you go to stores in lithuania clothes would probably range from like nine euros this side clothes probably range from nine euros to say 30 euros we are talking jeans we're talking dresses we're talking tops and then most of the names that you hear we probably have them here there's h&m here there is um okay only h&m is coming to mind right now but like you find most of these stores and then they are pretty affordable so between 90 and 30 euros you get like decent jeans decent top i think that for tops you can get between from like 5 euros to like 20 euros you find something good but if you are a thrifter like me and you like to thrift see personally i'm a thrifter i love thrifts because i feel like the clothes are unique <laughs> I feel a kind of way when I go to shop and then you're like 20 of the same clothes that I want to buy but with thrift you probably would not I can have a diverse wardrobe with thrift so thrifts they're very affordable in fact um, just last month I did a thrift haul because Humana which is a popular thrift shop in Lithuania had these sales where everything was 30 cents in fact I made a video on this and it's most likely going to co go up before this video after this video i'm not sure but it's going to come up and you see all the nice pieces i got for 30 cents so but again it was sales right but the average you get things between like 30 50 cents to like say five six euros for decent jeans decent tops decent dresses so i think that that basically covers most of the things that you need to know about so if you feel like there are other things that i didn't cover please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and i would respond as well as i can i hope you found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please click the thumbs up button so that other people can also find it and it would be helpful to them please don't forget to share with your friends please don't forget to like comment share subscribe to my videos and let me know other content or any other thing that you'd like to know about lithuania and i'll be sure to share with you so yeah, thank you for watching till the end of this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!